Hmm. Radiation can make your DNA more interesting, accumulate enough rads, and you may develop a mutation. You know, that gives me an idea, actually. Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Flix here. Come back now. Fallout 76 video. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all future content. Now, today, we're going to be taking a look at mutations and specifically what's on the fastest ways to actually get them. So, as you guys can see on this character, I only have healing factor. So, we need some of the other mutations so we become godlike. I do want to give a quick mention to the, another method that involves you just going to a highly radiated place and killing yourself over and over and over again. That's kind of useless because you will never be able to get rid of those rads unless you lose all the mutations. So you need to be running a bloody build. For this method, we're going to go to the Blackwater Mine for a very specific reason. You guys will see very shortly. Okay, I just quickly finished your Indian Fever. It has nothing to do with how this mutation farming works. But well, it's really good for three-star legendaries, and if you see it pop up, may as well go and do it. Get rid of your star's gene spur, because you want to get mutations. Let rank two of that stops you from getting mutations. Now you just go on the bridge, and you get a couple rads. Hopefully I didn't just do the no rad glitch. If you're going quickly in and out, you can glitch your rads so you don't get any rads. But now we're good right now. So you just wait a bit. Wow, 83, that's, that's actually a shit ton. Ah, uh, there we go. We mutated. We've gained talons now. Now we have to run back up, but first we have to equip Starch Jeans so we don't lose this. But don't worry, we're not going to waste any right away on this, because that, that'd be a lot of right away to be wasting. We're going to head all the way back up and use the radiation arc, which is to the left. Or to the right if you go in, depends. First you have to press that button. It's not a lockpick room or a science check room, you can just easily get it. There we go, now we just wait. And there we go, we got rid of all our rads. Now, you don't want to head right back down, as I'll show you why. You need to actually server hop for this method. Sometimes it does work without server hopping, I won't lie. On my main character, I got to work a couple times without server hopping. But I generally recommend you to server hop, just because... It works 100% of the time when you manage to server hop. I'll show you. I probably won't get a mutation. Oh my god. Do I really have to deal with you? <laughs> Everything's broken. Alright, you know what, guys? Um, we'll come back after I deal with this guy. Alright, I dealt with him. Now, as you guys can see, we're not getting any mutations. I don't have star genes equipped or anything. Damn, it's another guy, really. Oh my god. But yeah, as you guys can see, no mutations whatsoever. Why? Because the server seems to start some sort of time lock once you get one mutation. Sometimes it's easily bypassed, other times it's not. So, mm. Anyways, we're gonna go to decontamination arc after we deal with these guys. And we're gonna server hop. Alright, just dealt with those guys. So, next step is we're gonna actually have to server hop. So, we go to the main menu, go to the exit, and we go to quit to. Quit to main menu, not desktop. Jeez. Okay, make sure to quit to main menu. Don't make the same mistake as me. Quit to desktop is going to take forever <laughs> compared to quit to main menu. I'll join you guys when I server hop to another server, right? Alright, so we're back. As you guys can see, we spawn on the train tracks instead of actually where we want to be. Now, you can go ahead and fast travel there, no problem. There's one issue, though. If there's one guy with a missile launcher that's always able to cripple you and then kill you and then it's just horrible. So what I prefer to do is actually just sneak around. It takes a couple seconds longer, but yeah. I need to quickly eat a drink though. Because, you know, I'm over encumbered so I need that AP regeneration. Alright, so if you jump over here, um, not get stuck though, like, uh, come on. okay, you know what, we'll just go around. You'll be placed pretty much right to the left of the actual entrance. We need to take off Star's jeans real quick. It saves us some time when we get inside. Now, we're gonna need to sneak here. Seems like someone cleared them out, though. Alright. But you can normally just sneak in, close the door behind you, and go into the mine.
All right, so pretty much just a clear stretch from here, except there's a couple minor enemies that spawn here. For me, it was mole rats. You can get rat pups also, or mongols. Pretty easy, generally, deal with them. This time, they're all dead and cleared up, it seems. Except the mole rats. All right, now, as I showed you before, take off the star's jeans perk, go in, and take some rats. Now we just wait. If you have, like, armor on, you should probably take it off. That gives you rad resistance, just so it will be faster. Come on. TikTok. There we go. Carnival. It's actually pretty good compared to uh, vegetarian. All right, so that's the third mutation I have now. I actually lucked out. If you get Epath, that's... I think it's pronounced Epath. Epath? Empath? Empath. Yeah, pretty bad. Because you take more damage. And yeah. Now I need to equip that again because I really don't want to lose healing factor. Healing factor is really nice to have. Alright. Once again, press the button. Go through. And lose all your rads. Make sure not to take off Star's Genes right away. Because if you take it off right away, then you, it might continue on and you lose it. As you see, I got Carnivore, Healing Factor, and Talons right now. Pretty good. If you want to reduce mutations, by the way, what you can do is equip the um, Class Freak perk and then Strange in Numbers to make it better. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys got some tips on how to mutation farm a lot faster and easier. Generally, if you're a very high level, you can build your own radiation arc next to anywhere that has high radiation and you can do it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Peace, ladies and gentlemen. Peace. Oh, why is this video so long? Uh, massive dislike. You could have done this in two minutes. Yeah. It's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops. Let this beat rock. Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock. Just let your mind loose from the new stock. Drunk off the goose.